Yo, what's going on, people? This is Aaron D. Glove, and hope everyone is doing well. I'm just gonna hop right into it, man. Uh, the topic is love. Okay, I honestly believe that, <clears throat> excuse me, you should never be in an environment where you are not loved. Whether it be your wife, your brother, your friends, anything in that, you know, in that globe, in that circle, you know what I mean? You should want to be celebrated and not tolerated. And when you're going through certain things in life and you, you know, you might feel that life is overwhelming, you want to, you want to be around love. You, you don't want to be around anyone who's obnoxious and mean spirited. You know what I mean? You, you really need love. Love is, uh, love is a, love is a very powerful strength. You know what I mean? Love can lift people up. Love can motivate people. <clears throat> uh, love can make someone feel like a million bucks. And, um, it's very important that you take time to check out your inner circle, you know what I mean? And find out, especially if you're in a, 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 a so-called committed relationship. I myself uh, thought I loved someone and this person turned out, turned out, she didn't, this woman didn't love me, which is, which is okay. But I was under the impression that I was being loved and in all reality, I was not being loved properly and I honestly believe that you know uh, people were loved differently people have a different way of expressing love but I find that I found that I was being uh, abused in a way you know what I'm saying I was uh, tolerating things that I uh, shouldn't have tolerated I, I let things go on too long and this person got used to treating me a certain way because I didn't uh, I didn't deal with it as I should because I believed that this person was going through something and the pressures of life were, were just overbearing for her. So she felt the need to lash out on me. And I'm like, okay, I'll let her rock. You know, my lady's having some rough times right now. But then I noticed that it became a pattern where uh, she felt that it was okay to make me feel like I wasn't of value. And the point that I'm really trying to make is, is that whenever you're in a, a union, a loving, a so-called loving union, you want to feel of value. Now, I'm not talking about <clears throat> sex. I'm not talking about, you know, the you know, little hug. I'm talking about the person, the way the person treats you on a daily basis, the way the person speaks to you, the tone of voice that this person uses. You know, you want to be able to pick up the phone and call your lady and breathe life into her. You want you want your woman to know that you love her. You want your woman to know that uh, you're thinking of her. You know what I'm saying? We we, we mistake love in a physical in the physical. You know, love is not really physical. Love is a thought. Love is something that you show. Your words mean nothing if you don't manifest it and bring it into reality. So it's very important that you recognize that when you're not being loved properly. Now, I'm not talking about uh, he or she didn't buy me these Jordans, he or she didn't buy me these video games. I'm talking about when you're alone and there's no one else around, how is this person reacting around you? How is this person uh, responding to you? You know, I'm gonna give you a little, uh, a little something that I went through, and you know, I would come home from work sometimes at night and, um, you know, we would come home from work, you know, after, you know, get out the shower or something like that. And I, I would admit I'm, I'm, I'm very affectionate. I like to be held. I love to hold my woman. And I started noticing that, um, I wouldn't even get a hug at night. You, you know what I'm saying? And it, was, it bothered me. And then again, I'm like, okay, is she really going through something? So I said, you know, you know, you know, when a woman turn around and stick her booty out type thing, you know, you want to pull her close. And I noticed that one night when I did it, I didn't feel the energy come back. I'm like, okay, this is serious because most women are affectionate and most women want that sense of security. It's okay to pull your woman close and say, baby, I love you. And it doesn't have to turn into sex. It's all about 
being held in, her knowing her role in your life, her knowing her place in your life. And that's very important. So back to me for a moment. I uh, began to let this thing go on for too long and it became a thing. And I would sit there at night and feel so unwanted. I never felt that unloved in my life. And I've been through some very bad uh, breakups, but this one really, really, really made me realize that this woman did not love me. She did not show that she loved me, and I had to accept that. And I had to decide, Aaron, how long are you going to how long are you going to be in this situation and not feel loved, and not feel cared for? And I really had to make the decision to say this place no longer serves me. Uh, I started from scratch again, and that's cool. You can you can start from scratch. It's okay to start from zero. Work your way work your way back up, and be whole again. So I'll say that to say this, man. If you're ever in a relationship and you feel that it's not serving you, if you ever in a, if you're ever in a place and you know you're not being loved properly, it's time to move on, man. It's very important that you stop and you recognize the red flags, man. Because once you start signing on dotted lines and signing mortgage papers and signing leases and deeds, you don't walk over to a whole new threshold. Now you, you're, you're tied and you're bonded to this person legally. So before you take those steps and before you say those words, I love you, think long and hard about who you're saying I love you to. Because like I said, man, I literally have never felt so unloved and, and so unwanted in my fucking life. I was like, God damn, this, this woman is really cold. You know, like I said, she might have been going through her own thing or whatever, but it still does not take away from the fact that this woman made me feel like zero. I worked hard. Uh, I did the best that I could. You know what I mean? As a man, I did what, what I did what, what, what whatever in my power to do. There was not much I can do for someone who doesn't want you. And that's just what it is. If a person doesn't love you, they don't want you, and that's fine. But at some point, you have to find the strength and the ability to say, you know what, again, this, this does not serve me, and it's time for me to move on, man. It's very important that you start the healing process and heal. I refuse to let the way I was treated, and it cut deep, and I refused to bleed on anybody else. I'm not gonna do that. Will I ever forget that? No. Am I healed? I believe I'm healed because I can move on. I can love another woman with no problem. I can take another woman under my arm and, you know, you know, walk away gracefully. It's all cool with me. But it's very important that when you love someone or you don't love someone anymore. It's very important that you gotta let this person know that things aren't going as planned. Things aren't going like I thought they would. And it's, I think it's time that we part ways. It can be done so maturely, but some of us choose not to do that. And I think that's very important that I don't think communication gets enough credit. There's a way you can speak to people without being uh, rude, obnoxious, mean-spirited, you don't have to talk down to someone to get them to understand something. Words are very important and how you articulate them is very important. So I try to, as a man, even that, as, as a younger man, I didn't have the wisdom that I have now. I was very mean, I was very rude, I was very, very obnoxious because I didn't know any other way until I started to love more and I started to love properly. And I had women check me for speaking out of context to them. I had some very good women in my life and not that I was talking to them to be mean, I didn't know how to express myself without being somewhat aggressive and my words were very negative and my energy was very negative and I had, women, I had one woman tell me, you, you're, you're not gonna speak to me that way. We have to change that or this is done. And that's when I began to learn, okay, hey, Aaron, you have to articulate your way, you have to articulate yourself better. You have to gather your thoughts. And if you, like I said, if you love somebody and you care about how they, 
You care about how you make them feel. You have to address that. This is very important because a lot of people walk away from relationships bitter because that person treated them so bad that they don't even want to talk to this person anymore. And that person doesn't take how you feel into consideration. You should never be in a so-called loving relationship if that person does not care how they make you feel. That is a big, major red flag for me. Okay, so I'm going to wrap this up, man. Like I said, this is something that's been brewing in my spirit for some time. Uh, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Uh, peace, stay cool, and God bless. And once again, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching, man. Aaron D. Gilbert signing off, y'all. Peace.